what is going on dolls and devos we are going to have some fun i'm gonna get into a little bit of wig revamping so we are going to exchange a closure and replace it with a new one and i'm just showing you how to go about cutting out the old closure I like to keep a little bit of the lip so I can align much easier. Um, and this is just the way how I do it. And I always, by habit, mark lines on my caps. You do not have to do this step. I'm just showing you how my client's wigs last them over a year. So it's a great investment getting your wig done by yours truly, myself, Tanisha Hines. And see how that lines up. And yeah, clip out that closure. Make sure you shampoo, revamp the wig. I did that off cam. Um, I let it sit with deep conditioner with silicone mix for over um, overnight. And yeah, so the base of the old um, unit was, or wig, was your traditional one you do on your sewing machine. I'm now putting it on a mesh dome cap and I am just going about lining up the seams of the basically old unit with the new and just take your time and adjust when i did do the pinning i did not pin the start of one end and the start of the other i don't know if that's really clear but um the old wig unit or wig had the little ear points so i just basically lined those up um but on that other side the tip is <laughs> do not try to have it pinned down perfectly because you're going to have to shift and i did have to go through the unit a couple of places to re-tack any loose wefts so you know that's not done really on cam but i'm just showing you how to go ahead and just replace a closure if you got good extensions and you got good quality hair like this hair is over a year old and by me relocating to um my new destination a lot of my clients are getting their wigs revamped so here i'm in the back and the little tip of that is you're going to cut off that access piece. I'm going to show that in a minute. But I always go back and forth. I always do left and right. It don't matter which way you do it. But I never go all the way over straight from left to right. I always meet in the middle. This just always keeps my stuff centered. Um, another tip is when you use the, um, the, the base that I did prior to the old wig, it's going to have those like lines going you know, up and down. So I stitched that into the base. And yeah, as you see, we are going to now unravel and we're going to do one last step. So this is something that is really going to help your wig revamping transform. You have to do this last step so it can really merge. So basically, I am just parting out all around the whole closure and the meeting of the you know new wig and yeah i have her pinned down so don't, you know i'm gonna beat her up a little bit <laughs> but you know get it clean but don't get it don't don't be you know anal about how clean it is you want it to be natural so your natural hair is not grown you know grown out your scalp uniformly this is also another little tip wet her down mold her down if you're using a straight texture i did this on curly textures and straight textures and it gives them a good like two years sometimes out of my wigs <laughs> no lie and when you do put it on a mesh dome cap you have so much forgiveness and it fits so great now what i was trying to show you i'm gonna go ahead and say verbally when you're starting to meet and merge that you know perimeter you just parted out do not start in the very beginning you want to make sure you hide that knot so i was two inches behind the hairline i went to the hairline basically up to an inch and a half and went back through 
this is like so I can hide my stitching and you don't want to see any of that in the beginning or that client snag on that. So even though it's like simple, but it's certain little technical things that if you're seasoned, this is something that's easy for you. Go around and sew around a perimeter, tighten up any wefts that you need to and boom, look at her brand new that wig was a year old prior okay we changed your closure back out of course we use snatch extensions i created this unit and she got a good another year out of this so um this is just something i wanted to share with you and look at the inside it's so forgiving so it's not going to be baggy it looks like it but it fits like a freaking glove and you don't even have to use any glue all right dolls and divas i hope you like this vid until next time i always remember put yourself first Ow.